Oh, this one's so cool. <laughs> you roll out. This caterpillar is growing so much. I think it's gonna be ready to become to be in this chrysalis and become a butterfly soon after. So it turns out you roll it just kind of a little bit loose, just not too tight. You can actually squish it like the way you see here so it comes out of the pencil. So that worked out better. Okay, so this is my one of each, right? One of regular markers, one with watercolor markers. One using a brush with watercolor and one with highlights. And let's test out and see. They might all look very similar. But let's see. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze some water. Let's see. Let's zoom in a little bit. Maybe we have to be patient, huh? Maybe we just need to squeeze a little bit and just wait. I was thinking I'm going to squeeze a lot more water, but I'm just going to wait and see. And I'm going to use my leaf here for Actually, I should have each one of this in a leaf so we can see the proportion. My grab. this leaf clean around here because I did some cuttings for my purple petunia. And I'll have each one in a leaf. So I guess if you can gather four leaves that would be very helpful. Let's see our caterpillars growing. Oh well, my camera is a little wobbly. I think that works. And I've been wanting to test out for those that don't have a water bottle spray, maybe we can tap some water on them. Let's see how that works. Hmm, not enough water. I probably need a really like a bigger brush. Well, it's so handy that I have so many art materials around. I happen to have a bigger brush. But I wonder if I should just wait then. Maybe there is enough water. Am I being impatient? Or should I put more water? This guy I think needs more water because I don't see him moving. So I'm Ooh, it's fun to put water on it because it changes right away. Ooh, look at that one. But in real life, caterpillars take many, many days to grow. So we're just speeding up the process with more water here. So I think an eyedropper will be fantastic if you have an eyedropper. Oh, look at this guy. I haven't even touched that one and it's growing by itself. So that just tells us that patient is a really important um, part of this project, I guess. What do you think? And here's the one that I sprayed earlier. And look how big it's growing. So it continues to grow. And I put all these different colors, but I I've only seen green caterpillars with a little bit of yellow. What color of caterpillars have you seen? That'll be interesting to know. 
All right, I'm gonna pause this and then we'll film again once they grow a little bit. So we're back. What did you do while you waited? I did some stretching. I did some little bit of dancing and I think I feel better because I was being a little too impatient before. And they all look great. I think what this tells me is that it doesn't matter if you use any of these uh, materials, they're all going to work out fine. I think the watercolor one, the markers, may be better because there's more color there. But I want to do something fun. I'm going to put a lot of water. I think some kids will be tempted to do this too. It might be silly. This is just going to be too much water. I don't know, maybe, but it'll be fun to test it out. I can't help myself. I'm going to put a lot of water on them because I want to see how big can they grow. Oh my goodness. Are you guys seeing that? I think we can skip the whole brush with the water because that was too little water. I think we either pour some water in a little cap here, water cap. Oh, we just spray it. So should I put all this water? Should I put it? What do you guys think? Let's see. Whoa. I think that one grew as much as it was going to grow. There you have the, the caterpillars. Do you like this activity? Do you like watching it? Do you like making them? Hope you enjoy this craft. And you can do it anytime with whatever materials you have. Paper towel, tissues, markers, highlighters, watercolors. Have fun. Bye.